All right, so you're gonna have to excuse me today for looking like I just stepped out of a cave. I am actually in Athens, Greece, shooting this video on the BMW X1. So you might actually be wondering to yourself, you know, obviously you logged on to this video or if you're watching on Facebook, you might not be wondering it, but now that we're here, let's talk about it. The BMW X1 is one of those cars where if you're not buying or leasing either a loaner car or a demo, or if you're not using all available incentives, like if you're not a loyal BMW customer, you know, you're just somebody that's looking at BMW for the first time type of thing, you're gonna get like shocked when you see the initial payment. And that's partly to do with the fact that BMW right now doesn't offer a whole lot of incentives for fresh customers. What I mean by fresh is, is you you guys don't have a BMW in the household and they're not really relying on incentives to bring down the payment. Um, so actually, let's go outside. Let's check out this X1 and I'll show you what a Euro X1 looks like. So you have an idea of what we're missing out on in the States. I've got my Frappe handy. Just gonna go outside. And actually right right now, we're dealing with X1s that are all 2018s. Like I haven't actually seen a 2019 in my dealer's inventory yet, nor do I see it on cars.com yet. That partly has to do with the fact that the 2019, I guess, won't be out for another couple months. I don't know exactly when the release is, but I can safely assume once the 2019 drops, that they'll probably drop some more lease credits to make it a little bit more of an aggressive deal. Right right now, it's all 2018s. Lease cash is at 500 bucks. Um, nothing funny with the money factor. We're dealing with a 0 .00166. However, the loyalty credit is 1500 bucks on top of that lease cash. It's actually, it's funny because even if you're not loyal BMW, if you don't have a BMW now, if you're a Costco member up until October 1st, they are actually offering that same amount as a rebate. So you could actually get money if you're a Costco member just by just by using your Costco card, I guess, at the dealership. So really, really the typical advertisement that BMW dealerships like to use is either on a demo or on a sub $40,000 X1, which is typically not the case for any inventory cars that you might be seeing. The typical price tag is like $43,000. With the $43,000 price tag, you really, really wanna chase after a 10% at the minimum discount before applying, you know, like the $500 lease credit or the $1,500 loyalty incentive. Without doing this, without plugging in any of these incentives and just going for a hard 10% discount on the car, you're, you're really talking about a payment that's clearing $499 on the X1. Now it goes back to what I was saying before that if you're not doing a demo or if you're not a loyal customer, this car may actually be a little bit too much. Now if you apply the loyalty incentive, so let's say you got the 1500 bucks applied and let's say it is a $43,000 car and you got that $4,000 off the sticker, then you're really talking about a payment of about 450 bucks a month on a 43K x1 now if you were to go after like let's say i don't know a 38 or a 39 at that point now we're really starting to talk about 375s and 399s um including the loyalty incentive essentially what you want to do is you want to target this car at 10 percent off if you can use your costco card to get you that extra 1500 however the costco incentive isn't available all the time it expires october 1st so really really if you've got if you've got a BMW now you want to make sure that you're claiming all available incentives on top of a 10% discount if it's not anywhere near the $400 mark you're overpaying especially if it's on an X drive 28i now as far as 2019s I'm speculating it's probably gonna be getting to 400 a month on this car will probably get a lot easier once the 2019s are out and there's more incentives in my honest opinion though, this car, the best possible time to actually do a deal on it is probably during the holidays anyway, 
because there'll probably still be a bunch of 2018s left. You could probably get a more expensive car for less money than if you were to do it now. As always guys, I hope that this video helped. And if it did help, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. See, I do these videos even when I'm on vacation in Athens, Greece, I'm trying to help as many of you as I can. If you're seeing this on Facebook, like it, maybe share it if I'm lucky. And if you're seeing this on Instagram, feel free to just double tap the heck out of your screen. Thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time.